With us now is Bailey Munson of Thompson High School, part of our 2022 player profile here for the North Dakota Optimus Volleyball Series. And uh, Bailey, for you, what does it mean your senior season to be recognized and nominated as one of the best uh, volleyball athletes across the state of North Dakota? I'm very thankful, but I'm also rewarded with knowing that all the hard work I've been able to put in the last few seasons has led me to where I'm at now. The one thing for you, is there a particular player that maybe you're a rival with on Tuesday, Thursdays, Friday nights that now you're excited to play with that can actually be on your team, you know, at the high school level, any particular uh, athlete or student athlete stand out? Um, JC Richter. I used to play with her for ND Attack and she's such a good player and I love competing with her, but now I'll be able to play with her which is super exciting. So, yeah. For you, how much fun is it with the Optimus Volleyball Series, something a little different this year where it's not East and West or Class A and Class B. It's kind of, you, you get a little bit uh, of everything here. So how fun are you excited to play with some Class A girls or some girls from the West that are going to be on your team at least for this week? Yes, I'm super excited. They're very talented people and I think I'll be able to learn from them and just have really fun with them. Is there a particular volleyball memory uh, that stands out, whether it was uh, during your high school days or, or being a, a fan or a teammate of someone, anything particular come to mind, Bailey? Probably in the last two years, the most is that game winning region championship points. That feeling will always stick with me. It's just you get the points and the team runs together, hugs, and then on top of it, the crowd comes in. It's just a feeling that you'll never forget. Those are some that you'll always take with you. And, and particularly the older you get, as you know, a little bit, Bailey, too, freshman year compared to senior year a little bit. So if you could go back to your freshman self or talk to someone who's kind of getting through uh, the program for the first time, being a varsity or J junior varsity, you know, underclassmen, what would be some words that you would kind of pass down that you kind of learned during your time? Um, to always keep your head up. There's a lot of lows that come with volleyball and it truly, truly shows who you are as a person and how far you want to get if you're able to overcome those lows and on top of it, just be that great teammate. For someone that's never seen you play volleyball before, what's the best way to describe your volleyball game a little bit in terms of are you a tenacious player? Are you someone always diving on for, for uh, the pancake for the ball or, or just kind of give us a little bit of insight to your game? I love being the person that saves the ball. It's just such a thrill and excitement knowing that you're the one that's able to keep the ball alive. And I know it's, you got to stay in the game, but it's also a great feeling when you do get that good save and you can hear the crowd cheer and get more excited. It's just very, I'm very fast and I love to see the game get going. If uh, for, for you particularly here, once the Optimus Volleyball Series is all wrapped up with and done, um, what's the next step in your chapter and what's, what's kind of the fall plans for you once we get to August and September? I will be continuing my education and my volleyball career at Lake Region State College in Devil's Lake. So with that being said, what, what made Lake Region the right choice? Because obviously anytime you get an opportunity to play at the next level, it, it has to be a right fit, both from a student and an athlete standpoint, Bailey. So what made Lake Region kind of just the, the right place for you, do you think? The coach really stuck out. He was very welcoming and it seemed like a great environment. And there is two other Thompson players Madeline and Lexi that are currently playing there too and I'll be able to be teammates with them once again so it kind of just brought me in that's a good that's good nice little one-two combination you already have some insight with some fellow teammates as well and final thing for you Bailey before you let you go always like to end on a fun one here superstitious are you superstitious and if so is there anything in particular that kind of stands out whether having to put the left shoe on before the right shoe or anything of that nature I'm not really superstitious, but for some reason, I always had saltine crackers before every game. And we made sure we had the biggest dance party in the locker room before we went out. So the saltine crackers, was that passed down or is that something that you just kind of all of a sudden one game, it just was there and you just kind of kept on going with the saltine crackers? I love saltine crackers. I don't know why. And one day I was just like, you know, I'm going to have this before my before my game. And before you know it, I was having it before every game.
<laughs> that's pretty good. That That's one I haven't heard before. So I think you might stand out in that one particularly. Uh, Bailey, thanks so much for your time. Best of luck at Lake Region State and best of luck in the Optimist Volleyball Series as well. Thank you.